If, if I accepted an Uber ride dead center of San Marcos in the square where, like, all the bars are, I got, like, eight bucks just for accepting the ride. Yeah. Never mind how much the ride costs. All right. Because so many people wanted to Uber. Arctic Abyss. And, uh, Goldie, one thing you might like, you don't deal with customers nearly as much as you think for Uber Eats. 99% of the time, most of the college kids that were just like, hey, just, like, you know, knock on the door, and at first they'll just... And the most I ever got was they'll Son just grab it and say, bitch. hey, thanks, man. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> yeah, they'll just grab it and say, hey, hey cool, thanks, man. Or uh, they'll usually oh, otherwise just say... Oh, the on! <laughs> or they'll say something like, oh, please leave at door, knock three times. Yeah, because, like, ever, ever since the pandemic happened, a lot of people have been choosing that option. Is just like, hey, just leave it at the door and fucking... Just, yeah, just knock on the door. Let let us know the food is there, and just. Be I on mean, na na yes. Uber Eats, na 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 Uber Eats, na 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 Uber Eats. <laughs> yeah, basically like that. Don't annoy the don't annoy the driver though, because um, they can rate you as a customer. By the way. Wait, what does that mean? You know what? You know how we um, can rate the drivers and say how good uh, how good of a driver they are, or how big of an asshole they can be. Yeah, they could do the exact same thing to us. Seriously? Most, yep, or, yep, there's yep, something yep. similar, um, and most of the reason for, reasoning for this is that sometimes you can just have a very, very shitty passenger who just should not Whoa, be in your car. Oh, shit. Like, uh, like I didn't do it. Someone who's extremely like, inebriated or something. No, no, actually, if someone's inebriated, I can legally just outright reject the ride. It looks but like I you're don't, walking, don't... motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no, I do not. I do not need to accept that. I do not need to. You do yeah. not need to accept rides. You can reject any ride for any reason. But sometimes they want to know a reason. But they have like thirty pre pre built common reasons. And among other reasons, another one is oh, um, unaccompanied minor. You're, 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 so uh... for no, without needing to justify anything, I can reject the Son ride just because you're seventeen or younger. For instance, but so no, they like only do the ratings. Motherfucker! If a nine-year-old wanted a ride, you couldn't be like, "No, I can't give you a ride, dude." You, no, I <laughs> not only could I. I think you're not you're not supposed to take someone in that young. I don't think. Okay, all right. Or at least, if if someone came to me and said, "Hey, I need you to drive my like nine-year-old kid," I'm like, "Hell no." <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, oh yeah. Let's let's but. Let, like, that's, that's a shit ton of trouble. Oh, yeah, here's this unaccompanied kid. Drop them off at this weird location. Or even if it isn't weird, like, it's school. It's like, dude, this is your own kid. I'm a... Sh like, you don't know me. Yeah, no, I can see how, like, way out of control this can get. Yeah, and on yeah, top yeah. of that, the Uber you app chooses the Uber you by... Driver's not no, no, or the Uber app chooses you by proximity. Yeah. It chooses you by proximity. So, like, the only reason the app picked me isn't because, oh, you're a good fit to... Or et cetera, et cetera. It, the only criteria is: Are you the closest to the beacon when they press call ride? That's that's what determines if you're the if you're the lucky winner. Okay. Yeah, I figured that's how it worked. Yeah. Um, you do get some but funny dude. stories though. Like, uh, best story: Halloween. I approach a college dorm, and it's three guys, and they're all in bunny suits. Oh my god! This or, is the bunny, bunny ones. Right? Yeah, okay, so they're in bunny onesies, right? And they said, uh, and here's the thing, the more cool and relaxed you are about what people do in your car, uh, the more likely they'll leave you tips and compliments, and they're always nice to read, too. Um, I had an Uber driver that played a game with me and my ex-fiance while he was driving us to where we were going to eat. And it was I don't like, do games. It was like one did... of those quiz games that you do on TV shows. No, no, I, I know those, and I've done those before, too. However, um, I, de I never went that far, because also college kids don't care about that stuff. Like, if you're a tourist, maybe, but not a college kid. Oh, I did have the thing that the college kids love, though, and I have... Uh, my Okay, so my car has a custom-built stereo system that is built into the frame of the car. It's uh, from Fender, and I have an aux cable. 
Oh shit! Give me that aux cable, dude. No, yeah, they loved me for that. Yeah. Oh come yeah. on. Get that Is it cool? Back. Is it cool if I play Taylor Swift's whole folklore album on the aux cable? Uh, I mean, uh, Peter, hold on a second. Blue Griffin is asking uh, for uh, the, the two guys in bunny suits. Were they uh, Playboy bunny suits or actual bunny suits, like in a Christmas story? Um. More okay. They weren't what you exactly what you saw in a Christmas story, but yeah, I'm roughly amalgamated it, that style. Okay. Oh right, yeah. Continuing that story. Um, okay, so they first they say this is like, hey, yo, uh, driver, do you mind stopping by the stripes? <laughs> by the way, uh, if you're a driver for Uber, um, feel free to do that. One, your customer will like you, and two, you also get paid by time. I don't know if everyone knows that. So having me sit in a parking lot and wait, I don't only get paid just for the miles. I, I get paid more for miles, but if you just have me sit and wait in a parking lot for five minutes, you're still raking up money. I'm still getting paid for that. Fuck! <laughs> um, just, just to let people know. But we also don't mind stopping for people, or you can add a stop in the app. I d I've never done that before, but you can. So I said, hey, please stop with the stripes. You know what? And they're just, ca and, and they're just casually talking to me, right? Yeah. Um, so I said, and they said, they go in and they come out with three, like, 18 packs of beer, one for each of them. And the, ah! they'll scope you out, as a driver, they can scope you out for a little bit just to see how, essentially how cool of a person are you. I was really lax with everything I did. First off, I did have a good interior, which helped me out because I had the premium trim. Apparently some old man owned my car before I did and he got every single extra feature. So I got like white leather seats, stereo oh, system. Shit. White yeah, leather I, seats? I, yeah, I got white leather seats, uh, weather guard floor mattings that just came with the car, uh, a built-in stereo system, an oh, automatic sunroof, on. and fully automatic windows. Oh, that was horse shit. <laughs> and an ox jack. Yes. And a fucking aux cable. Aeon just out here, just pimping in this car, just straight. The up. cars, the car is powered by rolling. diesel, yes. But yeah. I also get forty-three miles to the gallon, and my car is turbocharged, and it has a sport gear. It's not a sport mode; it is a sport gear. I shift into sport, and the terrifying be behemoth that it is is now even more terrifying. And I don't know how they did that. Because it's already fast in normal mode, but um, though sometimes I'll be like, they'll be like, "Hey, I need you to go faster," or "Hey, I, I really have to get there." I'm like, "Okay, how? F okay, fuck." Legalities. Let's ignore legality for a minute. How fast will you allow me to go? And the guy like smiled and is like, "Get me there." And I'm like, "Yes, sir." And then I put my foot straight down, and then the turbo kicked in, and then we fucking rocket launched to his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Have you never introduced me to this legendary sport gear? I've been in your car a couple of times. You never put turned on sport for me. No, Lars would not appreciate it. I'm, I'm <laughs> quite sure. <certain. laughs> Lars would not appreciate that. Uh, Derek the Brony, what kind of car is Aeon's car or brand? Um. Okay, this might surprise some people because they probably wouldn't have expected this, Fuck. but it was a 2013 Jetta TDI. Or, and Wait TDI, for those backwards. who don't know cars, it, that just means it's a turbocharged uh, diesel engine. Yeah. Mm. But I get 43 miles to the gallon, even when I'm driving at 90 miles an hour on full, bla on full boost. I love that. Okay. I, have, I have a gripe with Uber Eats. So I'm going to tell you guys something that I am ashamed to admit. Uh, usually when I when I order Uber Eats, I order Uber Eats all the fucking time, but it's so right. fucking expensive. I went I went to, well, my favorite fucking fast food chicken place, Popeyes, and usually when I order Popeyes, it's under like <laughs> it's under like $40. Guess how much Popeyes cost? When I order it on Uber Eats, you'll never guess. Eighty. Wait, let me guess. There's a there's a twenty dollar delivery fee tacked on, isn't there? Oh, dude, you you're close. You're getting there. Twenty uh, five. No, no, I'm, I'm I was only I wasn't saying the whole order. I'm saying the delivery fee. 
Oh, the delivery fee. Yeah, you're you're like spot on on the delivery fee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because if you're in a really really busy time of the day, they'll jack up the delivery fees, which is why the they have the feed of like zero dollar delivery fee. Yeah. Depending on where you live, but yeah, no, that thing's the. Ah! <laughs> I mean. The delivery fee is also in part, that's kind of, in, in a way, that's also, in addition to the tip, what pays the driver. Yeah, that is Fuck. true. Yes. And that so, is why uh, I order Popeyes through their app. I should probably yeah. do that. Um, another, th another thing about the Uber GPS, although it did improve, so now they, you, I can finally find you in an apartment Fuck. complex, naturally when I don't Come work on. with them anymore. Mm -hmm. Um... There was a theory going amongst us drivers that the GPS in Uber's app actually came from a garbage truck. Um, because what people have noticed is it leads you to a rough approximation of the address, which you wouldn't need to look all that far to find a garbage can. And also, if you brought me to an apartment, it would never actually bring me to your apartment by default. And a lot of people don't seem to have known that. It brings me to either oh, the front gate on, or conveniently next to a dumpster. Oh, really? Yeah, no, I noticed that just off the blue. I'm like, how come if it doesn't lead me to the main gate, it leads me to, like, the nearest dumpster to the person? Do you think that's because, like, security reasons or something? Well, the reason... I heard one reason was that Uber was aware that Google oh, wanted shit. to do the whole... That might want to release a competitor or for the self-driving car thing, and they realized if they used Google Maps... Google could just say, hey, uh, we're your competitors, either you can't use our service or we're going to charge you up the ass to now use our GPS because you're a competitor now. So Uber, I think, saw that on the horizon and said, I don't want to have to deal with that. So they just had their own GPS. Okay, okay. All right. There is an option in the app if you don't like the Uber GPS or it glitches and that happens uh, that will automatically open Google Maps and just automatically write the address into the maps for you. There have been a couple of times where I'll order Uber Eats and it's like some this is probably like the user's fault, but like they'll go like ah! like I always think it's a glitch but I'm not sure. Where they'll go like a mile in the opposite direction. And I'm just like, where are you going? And then they'll come back and deliver my food. Yeah, I don't know yeah. the particulars of your road because um, I know that the map will freak out or misdetect on certain roads, especially if there's a lot of roads in the area. Yeah, like, in Texas, uh, we have, like, what we call frontage roads. Yeah? Apartment complexes. Yeah, and that's another thing, too. Um, is, it, is it someone just dropping off another piece of food? Or... Because that seems like a weirdly consistent problem. The only other reason I would, like, if I were doing that, the only reason I'd be doing that is if, um, because say I go to your Popeyes, but say Goldie also wants some Popeyes food, yeah, I'll get a second yeah. ping for the area and be like, oh, there's actually two orders there, um, because you're right there. So yeah. the the app is just like, oh, cool, you're already right there. Why don't you do? T why don't you bang out two of these? Mm. So ah! I'll grab Goldie's and I'll grab yours. But then it might say, you're dro it, and you don't get a choice in this, the app does it for you. It'll say, drop off Golden Fox first. Uh, okay, so the app will decide that. Yeah, you, you only get to decide whether or not I just accept your orders. But if I accept both your orders and pick up the food, like both your foods, the app is the one that selects who gets, who gets to get their food first. And I don't know if that's random, or if it isn't based on some interesting, like, the the app has like a clocking system, yeah. Where it's running all, it's crunching all these numbers about what fuck. Like it doesn't have Google's like fastest route thing because it won't you recognize like bother. blocks like Maps does. But it's uh, it does know some things. Like it it can adjust if you took a wrong turn. Um, not like not like in the sense of like live updating, but it's it's pretty. There were there were a few clever things it could do. Ah, I forget I forget what it was, but in other ways it's it's like shorter than Google Maps. In other ways it's kind of interesting. Um, there are also little things built into it oh, that allow us on. to that was horse shit. not um, to allow us to not get screwed over. So like for instance, uh, we have a wait timer. Yeah, what's over? And 
like for instance, if that wait timer goes out and it's, I think it's roughly four minutes, if I recall correctly. Um, if that runs out, I can just, like, I don't need to, I don't need to hang out around wherever you asked me to come pick you up anymore. I can leave, and at that Start point, there's again. nothing you can do because, as far as Uber is concerned, it's like you, you know, what are you, what are you doing Bullshit. that takes longer than five minutes if you just call the guy to come get you? You know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, if you're ready, yeah. to, ninety percent of the time, when you're ready to Uber, you're ready to go now. Not, oh, just let me chill out here because the usual recommendation by most coaches from Uber and Lyft is, uh, hey, you doing the five minute wait time? It's like, yeah. Are you outside of a bar? And they're like, yeah. Leave them. Just go. <laughs> just go. Just get the fuck it. Just go, man. Just go. <laughs> if there, no, yeah, it's like, it's essentially like if there, first off, if you have to wait more than four minutes, um, Uber says, okay, that's a waste of your time, and you could have been servicing someone else. Um, so they still and you still do get paid. Like you do get slapped with a with a fee if you like. Like the more you made me had to go out to come get you, the higher that it accrues because uh, they were worried of. And this actually did happen between Uber and Lyft at one point where people would call rides, wait for the driver to get close, and then cancel and to try and like starve them out financially because you have to use up gas. So the counter to that is you have to pay a cancellation fee. And most of that is just given to you as a courtesy of you were driving well performing work hours and you already used up X amount of gas to come and try and get to this what we thought was a customer kind of thing. Ah, uh, okay. 